Will Mountaineer fans see Rich Rodriguez on the sidelines again next year? Hang tight about 15 seconds, and I'll tell you. What is up college sports fans and fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos and welcome to another edition of Coos's Corner, your go-to channel for college sports with a heavy dose of West Virginia Mountaineers. For those who haven't, I ask that you please hit that red subscribe button for me. Give me that thumbs up button on my videos if you like my content and if you don't like my content, give me the thumbs down button. That works too. And please share this with your friends, especially if they're a Mountaineer fan and help me grow. Now on with the show. Will we see Rich Rodriguez pacing the sidelines in a Mountaineer game next year? I think there's a good possibility that we will. But hold on. It is not what you think. No, I don't think Neil Brown's going to be fired, and no, I don't think he should be fired. So I don't think Rich Rodriguez will be coaching the West Virginia Mountaineers next year. But there is a good possibility that he could be coaching the Virginia Tech Hokies next year when the Mountaineers go to Blacksburg. Yes, that's right, I said it. Our former beloved coach, who some of us now love to hate, and some of us still love, one of the most polarizing figures in West Virginia football history, could be coaching one of our biggest rivals next year, and here's why I think that. Number one, news came out a couple of days ago. The lawsuit that Coach Rodriguez was involved in from his days at Arizona over the sexual allegations misconduct has been dismissed with no settlement. He did not have to pay his accuser a dime. So that's behind him now. So he doesn't have that lingering over his head. Number two, he's probably available. And the reason I say that is he's, he's the offensive coordinator right now under Terry Bowden at the University of Louisiana Monroe. But I'm sure, I would think that Coach Rodriguez would love to be a head coach again someday and if given that opportunity. And why do I think Virginia Tech is the right place for him? I'm not saying it is the right place, but here's why I think he might get the opportunity. And there's one name, and that's Whit Babcock. Whit Babcock is the athletic director at Virginia Tech. Whit Babcock worked for the WVU Athletic Department from 2003 to 2007. The same time, Coach Rodriguez was at West Virginia. The two have had a good working relationship, and all indications are they got along well and still do as far as I know. It's ironic that Babcock left WVU just a few months before Coach Rod, before Coach Rod did. There are some reports that claim that that's one of the reasons Coach Rod, one of the factors in Coach Rod leaving West Virginia was the fact that Whit Babcock did not get more of a say in the athletic department which is what he wanted. Now that's not the only thing, but that there is some speculation that that was one of the reasons. There's a report that came out in 2015 that Blue Gold Sports did. I'm gonna post a link to the story in the description box. But apparently when Frank Beamer was about ready to retire at Blacksburg at Virginia Tech, apparently multiple reports stated that Babcock and Rodriguez actually had conversations about Rodriguez replacing Beamer at Virginia Tech then when while Rodriguez was at Arizona. Now obviously we know that never happened. Virginia Tech ended up hiring Justin Fuente. Uh, Rodriguez ended up coaching at Arizona a couple more seasons and then ended up getting fired from there. We you know Justin Fuente is struggling at Virginia Tech right now. He's three and four. That he's been on a downhill slide there since about twenty seventeen. Uh, their their consecutive bowl streak ended last year after they finished 5-6. and six. They're on their way to a potentially another losing record this year. All the indicators are that Justin Puente was already on the hot seat coming into the season. If they finish this season with a losing record or even a you know 500 record, he may not be back next year. And who's to say that Whit Babcock doesn't reach out to his old friend Rich Rodriguez wouldn't it be something to see Coach Rod donning the maroon and orange of the freaking Hokies? For those of you who already hate Rich Rodriguez, 
would that that would make you hate him even more. I don't hate Rich Rodriguez. I did I did it first. But over time, time heals wounds. I've heard his side of the story about what happened at West Virginia. And I, you know, once after hearing his side of the story, I think that you know there's a lot more to it than what us fans realize. And he actually may have been right on some things and may have had legit reason for leaving. But that being said, I would not like him being on the sidelines at Virginia Tech because, as you all know by now, those of you who watch me on a regular basis, I despise the Virginia Tech Hokies. They're, to me, they're our biggest rival because I'm from the southern part of West Virginia. They're a lot closer for me than Pitt, so I've always looked at Tech as a bigger rival, personally. But man, it would be something to see that. I'm not. I, I don't. I'm not saying I want it to happen. I, I would. I do. I do think Rich Rod deserves a second chance to be a coach. But uh, after all the controversy that has been surrounding him, it seems like almost everywhere he goes, uh, I'm not sure he'll get that chance again. But if anybody's going to give him the chance, it could be his old buddy Whit Babcock. So we'll see. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think I'm way off base here? Do you think this actually is a possibility? Do you think Coach Rod could end up coaching at Virginia Tech? Do you think he deserves another chance to coach somewhere else? Let me know, Mountaineer Nation, what you think. Let me know, Hokie fans, if you're listening. Would you like to see Rich Rodriguez as your head football coach next year? I still think Rich Rodriguez is a good football coach. I still think he can win football games if he's at the right institution and it's a good fit. He was doing pretty well at Arizona. He did well at West Virginia. Michigan, not so much. I think he could have done well at Michigan had he been given more time. But he just never was a great fit there with their culture. But at Virginia Tech's culture is really similar to West Virginia's. I think he, I think it would work. Think about it. Think about it. I think it would work, Hokie fans. Rich Rod might be your guy. Rich Rod might be your guy. But man, I hope not because his offense will be outstanding. And I don't want the Mountaineers to play against him. That would not be good. But anyway, let me know what you think about the video. Like I said, please hit the red subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up. Share this with your friends. Let them know about Kuzas Corner. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time.